Hi, my name is Wayne Weirs, and I want to uh, explain how quantum entanglement works based on a theory of mine called HDI. HDI is quite simply um, stands for higher dimensional interaction. Um, it says that uh, this theory of mine says that every object in our 3D universe is the result of higher dimensional objects intersecting our 3D space. In other words, we have empty space, and then a higher dimensional object penetrates it and produces a 3D object. Um, the easiest way to think of this is uh, a particle. A simple particle, uh, an electron, say. Let us use this um, ream of paper as our 3D space to represent our 3D space. And if we take an HD electron and we poke it through this 3D space, we will see a 3D electron, that interaction of the two, the, the intersection of the two, will create a uh, 3D electron. The easiest way to see this, though, since we can't see this HD electron, higher dimensional electron, because it has height, width, depth, and this mysterious dimension we'll call JoJo, we have to simply remove one dimension from that particle, that electron, and one dimension from our 3D space, and we'll be able to see it very clearly. Um, this sheet of paper will represent our 3D space with one dimension removed, and this pencil will represent our HD uh, electron with one dimension removed. So, it rep so it's three dimensions, and we have two dimensions. When the HD electron penetrates our 3D space, we would see a 3D electron at that point. Um, we would not see this part of the HD electron, nor this part, because they exist in that mysterious dimension of JoJo, which we have no access to. Quantum entanglement is when scientists can entangle two particles, two electrons, say, in, su in such a way that what happens um, is that if you turn one electron to the right, the other immediately turns to the left irregardless of this distance. This distance could be 50 million light years. You could have one electron on Earth and put the other electron 50 million light years away on the planet Caprica. And if you turn this one to the right, this one immediately turns to the left. It's not like this, this. It's like this. Immediately and in opposite directions. Those are the two key features. No one's been able to explain this bizarre behavior um, other than with equations and stuff, but how does it fit into our real world? Well, HDI theory says that where scientists have been going wrong is that they've been thinking they've been dealing with two particles, two electrons, when in reality what they're dealing with is one HD electron intersecting our 3D space in two places. In other words, remember these intersections of this HD electron penetrating our 3D space would appear to us as 3D electrons, two different 3D electrons, when in essence they are one HD electron. This distance is 50 million light years. This electron is the electron on Earth. This electron is the electron on Caprica. And when I turn the electron on Earth to the right, the electron on Caprica immediately turns to the left. Two conditions satisfied. They turn in opposite directions and they turn immediately. It's an immediate reaction. Um, and that's HDI theories on quantum entanglement. Um, it, we, I have these theories. Uh, the HDI theory also explains uh, gravity. Uh, not not necessarily what it is. I mean, what it is is masses attract, but why masses attract? Explains the origin of the universe. Explains a lot of things, and I'll leave that for the book. But um, quantum entanglement is actually uh, a very powerful indicator that HDI theory is indeed a valid or an accurate representation of reality. So um, hopefully this will get you uh, thinking and get you uh, scribbling down your... Uh, equations on your pieces of paper but really this is all you need <laughs> anyway thanks for listening anyway thanks for listening